Speaker, with your permission, I quote. He said, I am pleased to inform the House that in the course of the season of Parliament, the new Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, Honorable Sarah Ajua Safu, MP for Domi Kwabenya, will resubmit to the House the Affirmative Action Bill. Our mothers, wives, sisters, and daughters are looking up to us on this. Indeed, it will make our society the richer. And I'm appealing to this house on both sides to make one big effort to ensure its enactment. Mr. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Adwa Safo is not here. And Mr. President didn't talk about the affirmative action bill. Her absence has left a, a big gap at the ministry. This is the first time in the history of this country that a substantive minister has vacated post. She's not a post. There's a minister who is overseeing, who is overseeing the ministry. Mr. Speaker, I know with this quotation from the president, I know that the president is a lover of women. He is a lover of children. He is a lover of the elderly. He is, I'm quoting from the president, Mr. Speaker. So if Mr. President has talked about this, I see no reason why His Excellency will not talk about women issues, will not talk about children, will not talk about the elderly, and he didn't talk about the LEAP program. Uh, to suggest that the president is a lover of women, if not properly put in context, can, you know, uh, 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 lead to some misinterpretations. Yeah. 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 Whatever it is that you, you think, let it stay in your mind. I just want to put it right. in context. So She's a lover of does, women, so doesn't lover lend of children, to love of, yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. What is wrong is with your mind. 